Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my return subs, my growing extended beautiful family, thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me. And being able to be a part of your the missing puzzle of the spiritual guidance towards your, your journey, being able to help you as you, you know, you're helping me as well is truly a blessing to me so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you have not already so you can be able to know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up to tell me about your impact to give and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you, uh, or just gave you good vibes, you would love to share with the loved one, family, or friend, or, you know, the, the or even a fellow empath is truly going through some things at this time, you know, and they need confirmation and validations towards their life path, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support you've been giving me. It's so gratefully appreciated. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, turn this up a little bit. Um, my meditation music I'm listening to in the background is called Deep Sleep Wave, Lucid Dream, Music Experience Completes uh, Sleep Cycles. And I will post that link in the description box below. And uh, my video today is Twin Flame 101. Uh, Heyoka is learning through the lessons from their most hardest trials. Um, learning, oh goodness, it's, it's just like we go through so much at one time, um, going through so many different shifts that the universe has just been vibing towards us, being activated, uh, people are going through just straight, you know, spiritual, uh, you know, spiritual awakenings left and right. Um, it can really put a strain on your life. It can really put you at a low frequency. But it's just like when we're all going through these things, you know, um, it's, it's just like when you're all when we're all going through these things and when you're stepping back, not allowing yourself to get into an emotional standstill, you can really see why you had to go through all the things you had to go through and being able to know you can grow from those those situations come out come out a lot stronger than you were when you first started your journey. You know what well, a lot of times when we feel like our nightmare is never gonna you know be over or you know you're pushing out positivity but it just seems like your life is just like <laughs> not going anywhere and it, I know it can be frustrating at times and be you know uh, annoying but those are the things we have to go through and it's, it's just a scary situation when you have been living yourself all the time and then you had to go through like ascension you had to go through dark night of the soul you had to go through this spiritual awakening just to find out you were never you were never you in the first place you know it made you have a fresh pair of eyes being able to look at a different perspective um being able to see the the this perception that was placed upon you walking out of that matrix being out of the three d material world going to the 4d heading towards the five or even being in five and going you know ascending higher um those are the missions that's been placed on, on us the duties we had to be going through and being able to experience that has really humbled me a lot it has because it's just like like i tell y'all every day is not a, <laughs> sunshine and roses for me um if you've been with me for a while y'all see me at my ups and downs my highs my lows my silly times my emotional times um my aggravated times <laughs> my pissed off times you know um but going through that you know there's a lot of times i ask god why me then it's like why not you 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 know um being able to be that big missing puzzle to, from somebody's life to help assist them on do you know giving them spiritual guidance giving them the information that's sent from source creation god universe um allowing you to be able to open up to all the things that they're sending from me to send through you um 
it's been a very good learning experience. It's been a it's been a great experience. It's humbled me in so many ways. There's times where I want to give up. There's times that I don't want to talk. There's times I'm angry at the world because of the things I had to go through. But then when I don't place my my emotions towards the situations that's been handed towards me and really can see the truth. See, seeing the, being able to see my situation as an eye-opening experience for me to give me growth has really been amazing, you know, and it's just like sometimes I tell people, you know, they were like, Rosalind, it's just so hard for me going through this, and I said, you know what it is, I'm not going to lie to you, it wasn't no easy road for me, it wasn't. Um, being able to do these videos, knowing I can send awareness towards somebody's life, letting them know, you know, even though you feel alone at times, you're not. You know, even when you feel like the world is against you, it's not. It's just you've been placed in situations not for you to change it or have it change you. Change how you look at things. Change how you respond to things. How you, you know, you cast things out. How you deal with people. How you cut off cords when you need to. Paying attention to the red flags that are presented to you in your face. Being able to look like you can't save everybody that comes towards you. But being, being able to be that part of somebody's life to... You know help them with that lesson if there, if there was a lifetime expectation you were supposed to be with them then that would happen if not if you're that seasonal person that's been in that life it doesn't matter anything that you have anybody you have connected to was either mirroring something out that you needed to heal from or vice versa you know with us being um hey okas we do a lot of mirroring but you know a lot of people that head towards our way that dealing with certain things that we're dealing with are mirroring certain things that we also need to heal from for ourselves so it's just like going through these times you know i've had people question me i have people doubt me i have had people test me that's all right when you're heading towards bigger and better things those things will happen you know there's times where you feel like you know when is this gonna be over with when you can actually just look at your situation and see how it has changed you in, in, in the most harmonious way uh, giving you blessings hum humbling you you being grateful for the situations you've been placed in because if we didn't go through these situations you would have never known who you truly were what you were spiritually capable of ascending from the you know being able to dance in the rain when it's storming for you you know and then still be able to march in the sunshine you know the sunshine but these all these things have um has taught you something through these darkest trials you have been placed in um knowing it doesn't last all a long time you just have to be able to allow these situations to change you in the most miraculous way that you never thought you can be able to heal from being able to be that example that others can see like the heck if they were able to get through this maybe i can heal from my stuff too that gives somebody else a fighting chance you're giving that person a key to their prison they've been holding themselves in for so long and you know there's a lot of times we we feel like we're stagnant we feel like we're stuck we feel like you know the blessings are never going to come but if you keep at that frequency you stay at that low frequency and you keep looking at your situation like that it's going to take you a little bit longer and there's times i have felt like that recently i felt like that you know i just got tired of dealing with everything emotionally and mentally drained spiritually drained you know look at my situation like that i just push out all this positivity and i'm getting crap back you know even though there's a lot of you know comments y'all drop me but it was just like, it should be better than this. All this stuff that I'm doing, and it's not the fact that I'm doing it just to get something back, but you know, my life should be a little bit better. It actually is, but it's just the way I was looking at it had me perceiving things like that. So I'm trying to look at it in a totally different direction. So being able to do that, has been a blessing to me. Being able to see things for what they were, being able to, you know, allow myself to change you know, allow this situation to change me in a better way. Being able to see that I am strong. Being able to say, say, you know, even though this was a tragic thing for this, to, for what has happened to me, I feel like if anybody else has went through this, you know, when somebody knows my true story of what I went through, there's a lot of people either would have killed themselves or killed the people that, you know, put them in this situation. And trust me, like I've told y'all before, if you've been with me for a while and you know my life story, you know why I'm doing the videos I do. Like I always tell people, if you want to know why I'm doing my videos, check out my intro. 
and then that will tell you the reason why I do the things that I do and it's just like it's a blessing to be able to do that blessing to be able to tell you my story and being able to tell you I survived from this hell that I was placed in being able to heal in so many different levels in so many different ways and using my platform to be able to give other people awareness to say you know what we have been placed in some really crappy situations we have been abused from sun up to sundown and never felt like is this horror going to ever end it will end you're cutting the cords on that you i mean it, it's like we all went through that generational curse and we kept on getting that that abusive chalice that we had to all drink from and you, when you were like oh bump that i'm not deal i'm not drinking out of that damn cup no more <laughs> I'm ending it and I'm ending it today. I'm going to end it this year. I'm going to end this stops with me. And that's the reason why we go through so much hell because it's like the more they keep passing that down, the more junk they're adding on to that. And with, you have to be that Billy Badass to know, you know what, this has been placed on me, but I'm going to heal from this. I'm going to walk on and move away. I'm not going to allow me, even though these memories keep popping up, I'm not going to give this situation no emotions. I'm going to allow this to be that thing that I'm going to step on and go on to better places. So it's just like when you have all these tragedies happen to you and you want to throw yourself a pity party, don't do that. You have to be able to say, you know what, this happened to me and I overcame it. This happened to me and I healed. This happened to me and I moved up. You know, when you learn all these different things of, you know, abuse, neglect, abandonment, um, shunness, you know, anything you have ever went through, you basically tell you, I'm not going through this anymore. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm, I'm done. You are done. You know, when you can actually put your foot down and say, I'm not going to allow these things to keep affecting me the way they did. I took these people out of my life. So how can this situation still affect me if I no longer deal with the people that has placed these things upon me? I have to tell myself that every day because the people that have done it, you're not even in my life anymore. So why should I give you that power over me? When you don't deserve that, nobody deserves to have the key to your happiness. Nobody needs to have that shirt of your pride and your love. You should be wearing that shirt. You should have that key in your pocket and tell them I can drive my own happiness. I don't need you to do that. You can do bad by yourself. There was a song back in the day saying you can do bad by yourself. You don't need no help to starve to death. You don't. <laughs> you don't. You can do that on your own. You mess up your own self. But don't allow yourself to mess up your blessings over the things that's been placed in your life don't allow you to block your own blessings because a lot of times the reason why we have not got our blessings is because we're the one who's holding us back so with you doing that you have to be able to let go of those reins of pain you know let that leash go you no longer need to guide that anywhere you can place that in the dirt bury it give it a tombstone if you want to drop a daggone daisy on it and keep it moving so it's just like allow yourself to be able to see your future being in a better light. Allowing yourself to know the person that started this journey is never no more. This is all a new you. This is a new year. So you have to be able to start looking at things in a totally different way, a more healthier way, a more positive way. Allow yourself to be able to do that and move on because you truly deserve happiness in your life. You need to be free from this pain from this anguish from the, the punishment that's been placed upon you you know if you're you know you still have to deal with the people that has placed this on you cut that connection off and let you know okay you yeah if i gotta associate with you because sometimes it's like dealing with family and some people are still dealing with family that you know are around them like that don't allow that emotion to come back because when they know they can still trigger you that's letting them know they can still have power over you. When I cut that mess off, I'm like, eh, you, you can't even say hi to me. If you do say hi, hi, keep on going. <laughs> Those are POP, people in my past. I, I ain't got time. And neither do you. So I hope you are able to uh, resonate with the content of this video. I hope y'all start off a blessed, prosperous week. You know, we got a new week started. Manic Monday. So, um, like and subscribe. Drop me a line. Allow me to, you know, see what you feel about this, this video. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up and even share. So I'm going to go ahead and get my post notification out to uh, Velar dot amv much love to you welcome to our uh twin flame family twin flame family our empath family uh greg holster and jake uh mcdonald and much love to you peace
be wow.